guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season four of My Hero Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I get that. Mm -hmm. No Are oh, they gonna show? Mm -hmm. I mean, cause think about it. There may be a day when she's not really truly ready to see him again. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? <laughs> Freaking hair. My thing is, I wonder if they're going to show everything about this. Or are they going to save the rest of season five?
Jesus Christ. Mahana, why the fuck were people still standing there? <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Then you don't want heroes to go in there as well because what happens if, like, they need an airplane? I'm just saying. Fuck. Makes sense. That looks really gross. See, it would have been so much better if she was doing this on a helicopter than standing on the ground. Because just in case something fucking else happens, because you never fucking know. But I'm just saying.
No, I still won. See, I still kind of wish somebody would also come in and help him, but no, they're all fucking busy. <laughs> There's sometimes not even time to wait. Of course. Oh, get the baby.
So we have to do what I think he's about to do. Mm -hmm. My God, we got five fucking minutes left. Jesus. Oh my god. <sighs> oh shit, I need a drink. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You're not gonna end it. Oh my god, please don't. There's like freaking. Are you fucking kidding me? You, they're just gonna show a trailer for season five. That's what it is at the end. Honestly, this, when I read this and when I finished it, I, I like, cause at first I 
didn't like Endeavor. Going back to like season one and when I was watching it first and then getting into season two and then during season, way before season three had started, I read it. And getting to this chapter, this chapter made me honestly respect him more as a character. And honestly, I can't hate him anymore. Even though there are some times that I don't really agree with the things that Endeavor does, I get it. He's now officially the number one hero. He's set something out. And I love the fact that he did it. I'm so happy and proud of him. But just still, there are still times where, like, I agree to disagree on him, but that's okay. I still love him no matter what. I don't really know what's happening in, like, I think, um, I think one of the arcs is the Endeavor arc or something like that. I don't know. But there was a recent cover that just got released on the internet like a couple of days ago on Twitter and such. And everybody was talking about it. And they were saying that whatever happens in it ain't going to happen to like season six, which I'm okay with. I might start rereading um, or no, continuing from where I stopped at either in the next few weeks. I really don't. Wait. <laughs> you would fucking end on this shit. Motherfucker, god damn it. Oh my god. I have nothing else to say about it. Just showing that. Showing that last few moments. Honestly, I kept thinking, like, were they gonna show it? I kept thinking that, like, Maybe they would have left it as an opening for season five, but no. To start on that, or really to end on that, that is so good. And even though I haven't read the last chapter, like I said, was the Shigaraki um, backstory chapter on him. I haven't really seen any more stuff because like, I haven't read it in a while and everything. But deadass, I might have to start reading again because I have so many questions still on that. And if. It's been, we have a little more information on it because, oh, it's so much. And I just, I, oh, God. I remember the first time I saw it and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And I was on fucking Twitter just, like, posting shit. And, and like, uh, one of my subs who also reads the manga, they were just wondering what the hell was going on. And I was like, I literally have no fucking clue. But I don't know. I mean, I we already know season five is going to be good as fuck. Because not only with the Shigaraki chapter and with whatever else they're truly animating because I don't know how far they're really gonna go because, I, like I said, in the newest, like, wherever they are, whatever chapters they're currently on right now, however that's going, I've heard some things, but not, like, big spoilery things. I just heard it's really fucking good. It, like, someone said it's really better than this current season, and so I was just like, holy fuck, it must be that fucking good. So, I honestly think maybe in that are currently, like, probably more characters will die. I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm honestly thinking also in season 5, there probably will be some characters that will die as well. I don't know, because with, um, Sir Nai Nai officially being the first hero that died in this show, it's, like, it's paving the way that we know he's not the last one. He's not going to be the only one. There are going to be a lot of deaths, in my opinion, possibly coming around. I'm not 100% sure because, like I said, I haven't read up to the newest stuff. But probably in the next couple of weeks, maybe one day when I'm bored or I'm editing something while I'm waiting for it, I'll probably just binge and just like go on a rampage and read everything just to catch up. But this was a good season. I loved it so much. I'm glad that like everything that I truly wanted, even though... 
there were some things that I wanted to still be kind of um, animated, but they didn't do it, and I'm still I'm okay with it. I'm not hugely pissed off at it, but it was still good, and I loved it so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards season, uh, season four of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for the start of season five. Bye, guys.